G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Achievement Challenge. It's January, which means, well, it looks like according to the weather it's really cold. And we have at least two really big cotton fields to harvest. So I'm going to, well, drive this tractor up here because I can't be bothered running. We got the little field up near our farm, which will just chug away as the episode goes on. I dare say we'll finish it and get it replanted well before I've finished the fields that I need to do. So we'll get the cotton harvester over here and start it. And then I'll pop down to the store and we'll have a look at the new equipment I got. I decided to get some new cotton harvesters, some of the modded lizard ones. Just get this course sorted out. I've only got the one tool on it. And we only want to go up and down because it's a tiny course. got a couple of cotton planters working around the place we might get a chance to visit them a bit later on the field that we're gonna tackle today is this one so I've already done an auto drive course around it the four points at either side just to help get the vehicles to and from it Otherwise, it's going to take forever to be moving cotton bales, etc. around. The little one that we're doing is there. But we've also got a couple of cotton fields. Well, <sighs> got more than a couple of cotton fields, but we've got another two here. And then two more over here that are a little bit smaller. I might jump into this harvester now and just check out these two fields and maybe get it started on one of them as well. Alright, so yes, there is a field there to be done. And there's another smaller one behind it as well. I would say we're going to get enough cotton bales this month to sell and absolutely crush the achievement that we're after. So it's a nice long thin course. Just get it generated. Alright, so it's going to take about an hour to finish. Plus I'll have to come across with the truck and pick up the cotton bales. However, these are pretty tiny compared to that big field that we need to do. And to do that, like I said, I grabbed some new equipment. I think it was last episode and probably the one before it, I said I wasn't too keen on the round balers. But these trucks hold I think eight or nine round bales and their auto load. So I think using them won't be too bad. Ended up getting a pair of them. So I've already set the auto drive targets so I know where they're going. So let's get them on the way over to the field. This one's going to the southwest or bottom left corner of the field. I jump into the truck to Lizard Motors Phoenix Winter Wolf or Phoenix. 
Good question. And our second one, or second set, are going to the northeast corner, or the top right corner of the field. I think we're going to have a bit of a trip to get where they've got to go. Silly me. I thought they'd go up and across to the cotton field, but there must be another course going south and then over. So, okay, two of them have come down here, another two have headed back up towards the farm and across. And there's another course that comes up through here that I thought they would have taken. Uh, interesting. I guess they'll all get there eventually. Also got this nice shiny brand new harvester with a cotton header. Not a cotton header, a corn header. And it's got a sunflower field that it needs to take care of. Room for it to get around. So it's only got a top speed of 242 kilometres an hour, which is probably why it's having trouble turning corners. We'll see what happens. So uh, this field's way over on the east side of our farm. I don't think it's going to take very long to get there at the rate it's going. Although it seems to have trouble with corners. Two thirty. So that walk factor nine point seven. Hope the brakes are good because I do believe our field's coming up. There's our field. Shit, one, right? there's another one over here. Oh no, that's our soybean field that we need done too. Hopefully the other harvester has gotten to that already. Now we'll unfold this. And this one can get started at least. sure how auto drive's going to handle this or horseplay rather but we'll find out pretty uh, pretty soon that's right the other benefit of this one is i set it to 50 meters it should chew through this without a problem So it's going to do a donut. It looks like all of our cotton machines are still on their way up to the field. They're all moving. Ah, good. So it will chug away at a steady 25 kilometres an hour. I don't think we need it to go any faster because it's still at a 50 metre width. So it should get through this field in no time. Don't have a use for the corn so it's most likely just going to get sold. Now, it might jump into one of our cotton harvester trucks and just see how they're going. Cool. 
catches up to the harvester, it gets away from it a bit, then it catches up to it again. I hope it can get through that bit of a cut in the hills. Might need to flatten this out a bit. Don't think I've had any really big trucks come through here since I made this stuff. There we go. Still a bit rough, but it gets over it alright now. Just have a look where we are on the map, but I'm pretty sure that's the field that we need to tackle. It's huge. So when I say I reckon we'll get enough bales off it, <laughs> I think we'll get more than enough. We're gonna have trouble stacking them over at the farm waiting for them to get sold. Not sure of the dimensions of the field other than wow. Let's see if I can jump ahead. 508.95 It's pretty big. To the harvester. We do have a bale counter on these, so I should be able to get a count at the end of it. Uh, this is going to be a multi-hour, multi-multi-hour effort. And I'm pretty sure our parking point's just up here. But I'm going to stop and stick it in the field now. The truck should go just around the corner. can come back and move across a long way. Got a nice little blue outline for where the edge of the jewel harvester is. Okay, let's see if we can get a course generated. So I'm starting one down at the bottom here and way across at the top up there I'll start the other one and eventually they should meet in the middle. Of course, just to be difficult, it doesn't want to go up and down, it wants to go side to side. I'll just get this truck out of the way before it crashes into it. I don't know how far it will be for it to fill up, but I'm assuming it will fill up fairly quickly. This is the first time I've used these cotton harvesters, so I'm sort of hoping they work. It's a bit interesting that it doesn't stop.
pass out stops while it drops it off. That's not really helpful, but oh well. At worst case, at this width, I'm happy for him to run over the field twice. So, the sign was a bit close to the road. Not sure why these took a different route to get to the field. The truck's gone somewhere else. Oh, there we go. The truck just got to the field. Meanwhile, the little cotton baler up here is just about finished. We might hop out of this one, let it go on its way. and go pick up a couple bales while we're up here. I can see one in the field, there's probably going to be another one. I think this cotton harvester's at 81% for the bale. It might not drop another one. has two runs by the look of that, up and down, and then it will be finished. I might jump into it as it goes past, just to see how it's going. 83%, I think it will be pretty close. Should get one more bale out of it. Okay, let's get our second harvester that finally got up to the field with a course and we'll see how we go. Okay, and this one has decided that it's going to go up and down. So we'll let it go and see what happens. Uh, we've got one harvester that needs to be unloaded. I think it's our corn, so I might just go check it out quick. Yep. Uh, I think we'll send it back to the farm parking, hopefully. So I got 240,000 litres of corn off that field. Yeah, one of them's blocked. Uh, okay. Because the course play course has a row really close together. It's only doing, I think, four rather than the six. We did get two cotton bales off this field. So those two round cotton balers are probably going to end up crashing a couple of times which means I will most likely need to try and stay on top of the cotton bales to make sure they're all picked up since I've already done two other cotton fields this episode planted them that is I'm not going to worry about trying to get this one replanted this episode uh, there's going to be plenty of action happening on the field with those two big tractors or two big cotton harvesters I'll try and focus on that and make sure that um, they keep going without too many issues it looks like the field itself would take about four and a bit or four and a half hours for them to finish on even though they're doing 50 metre uh, harvests at a time so I'm most likely going to show bits and pieces of it um, but there's no way I'm going to squish down four hours worth of harvesting into one video unless it's a pretty big jump scene or jump cut
I'm going to head over and get them sorted out. So let's see what these trucks can actually do as far as picking up cotton bales. I said I'd be back later, but I'm curious. Uh, how do we turn them on is a pretty good question. B for operating position. Okay, that's pretty weird. So we got the bales loaded. <laughs> I think there might be a problem with either the map scale or the actual wagon. But I can drive past, so it picks them up automatically. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, definitely a problem with this somewhere. So one, two, three, four, five. I think it does seven or eleven. And the bales are a collision area so I might have a bit of trouble driving back with them like this too okay the counter says 7 at 63% so I can take a couple more There's our other harvester about to crash into a bale, which I think is going to be a huge problem. in transport position <laughs> and I want to go back to the farm parking to drop them off there so that was pretty interesting we'll run this one down here and pick up the bales this way So I find some. Once this field is done, it's going to look like a giant checkerboard or something with all these patches. at full speed though so that's going to help it a lot I did think two of these trucks collecting the bales would be enough to keep it going but it looks like I might need another couple at the rate we're going or I just need to stay on top of it all a bit better It's about a 10 or 15 minute round trip 
that's assuming I catch the trucks when they get over to the upload point and get them unloaded and turned around pretty much immediately. I'll grab I'll grab two bales this way, then grab a couple going up the other way to finish up, I think. Yeah, should let it get through another row or two while I run the bales over. This harvester's already on its way back. So once I finish the field, I'm going to have to run over it again. I didn't just nearly tip the truck, it just looked like it. I'll need to run over it again to pick up all the patches that I missed. So this just reinforces my dislike of round cotton bales. Although at 10,000 litres per bale, at least I'm getting the equivalent of about six on this trailer. Okay, one more. I'll make sure I go slow past it this time and with a little bit of luck the truck won't do a crazy uh, aerial aerobatic. Yep, that was a bit better. Alright, run this over to the farm parking too. Alright, our corn has arrived. Yeah, we're going to get rid of those apple trees. Or I should just move my cell point. There we go because the first truck with the cotton bales is pretty much just behind me. Well, 300 and, I don't know, 70, 80,000 for the cotton. No, for the cotton, for the corn. There's our first bale, or first truck with the bales. Getting across here quick. Just slot in behind this harvester. Knocked off that field really good. Okay, our next challenge is going to be where do I put them all? Actually, a really good question because I don't want to block any of the roads. I think I might just start unloading them along here, assuming... That looks good. I'll just keep making a pile of them across there. Okay, this guy needs to get back and pick up another lot. We'll send him to the southeast corner of the field because that should be where they're all joining up. Alright, took it a while but it eventually worked out where it's got to go. So a yeah, 10 minute drive back. I think we'll pass the other truck, so I might sit on here and see if we go past it or not. I just remembered we got a cotton field down there that was getting harvested as well, that I should probably get the square truck. Ah, speak of the devil, and here she is. Alright, so this is the other truck with the bales. We might hop over to it and get them unloaded so I can get this one sent back as well. Then I'll hop over to the other 
truck and start picking up a couple of the square cotton bales. These winter wolf trucks have got about 800 horsepower, so they don't really seem to have a problem carting all these bales around. and just cut all the corners so I had uh, I don't know 22 bales there already and I've just dropped off another 22 hopefully I judged that correctly and I can unload them So that's the 40 bales in theory that I need for the achievement. But we'll keep going and see how big of a stack we get. Then I'll try and get them all sold uh, in one big selling session. Head down to I think the north east corner is probably better. There you can see the nice pattern that the cotton harvesters are leaving in the field. But one of our trucks has got over there, so we'll go jump into that and grab another couple of cotton bales.
Okay. I think that is all of it. Going around the field pretty good, and I'll turn around here and probably run into a bale. <laughs> but been around the field pretty good, can't find any more. These, what are they? Lizard Motor TLX Phoenix Winter Wolf. Ah, awesome. Haven't had one breakdown on me yet. <laughs> But they've been great for pulling these trailers around. Uh, a couple of times I've gone a bit quick and turned sharp and the trailers spun out but the trucks always stayed upright. Okay, I think we're done. Wow. I've already... Already sent the cotton harvesters over to where the next field is going to be. Or the next field that we'll do is going to be. We'll send him back off to the farm. And I'll just jump across to the two cotton harvesters to get a total bale count. Alright, so our first one is annoying because I can't see it. Uh, 278 bales. This one, 233. So, there's our bale. <laughs> Our bale storage. Oh, I've got a square bale over there too. Um, that's only about 400 of them because I've put roughly eight, nine trailer loads worth of bales into the cotton. Uh, the clothing factories, you can even see some of the bales where the capacity is full so they didn't all get taken over the next month or two they're going to spit out an awful lot of clothes to sell luckily we have auto load trailers so that won't be too bad oh yeah it's a lot of yellow bales i'll drop these ones off quick And we'll get to the fun part for you, hopefully. Not sure how fun that's going to be for me. Oops. That was a bit close. They were neatly stacked. So there's nine rows in that top one. Two by four rows in the one I just tumbled over and... 21 rows of bales running down the road there. I think there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 44, 45, 46 large cotton bales. The white ones sitting there. There's another two in the truck and there's four more or five more over on the field just over there where the other harvester's still going. There's all these waiting to get used up. I decided I'd park the trucks up here a bit so they're out of the way. The two that I started with got over 250 kilometres racked up on them. The black and white new ones come in at about well, 220 on that one. So they've done some crazy kilometres going to and from the field as well. Just waiting for the last one to get over. 
So while it's heading over to the farm, I'm going to well use all this money to start paying our loan down. I'll try and get down to about 5,000 cash left to make it easy to work out what all those bales sell for. Okay, got our bank balance down to $3,600. I still got $5.5 million worth of loan. So, since this is still heading over to the farm, I think I'll jump back to the farm and we'll start selling some bales. Looks a bit different from ground level. So, it's a lot of bales. Could have made a pretty good maze out of all these if I was completely insane. Let me jump up. No, you can even run across the top. Oop, we could run across the top of them. Someone didn't stack them too good. Okay, what does... One round one so four. Thirty-seven thirty-eight. That's about forty-three thousand dollars per bale. Let the selling commence. Okay, and we might leave it there for a minute because the sell point has started to decrease the sale price because we've sold so much. But there's, well, just under six million and I've barely made a dent. I think I got about four million just out of the big square bales. We've still got all these to go. I might do a quick edit. Uh, to stop the sell point reducing the bale price and then I'll sell the rest of the bales and we'll see how much we have left or see how much we made I should say back in a flash okay I've had enough of cotton bales I think to last me forever Um, so we're sitting on just under 19 million now. There was about another, what, 12 million added with the rest that we sold. Where's he got to go? And so it's the last five from the field that I just forgot to sell because I was stuck behind that other truck. I think I'll get them all into the cell point in one go. Okay, they're loose. This is the first time I've tried to offload a not full trailer and it doesn't like it. So I'll just drag them over quick. Uh, shame we didn't get to 20 million but 
the next field. <laughs> it's going down again. Love this truck though. It's a little bit dirty. It's been working really hard. It's a fantastic model. Just go park him with the others. Oh, this is one of the white ones. So the second lot that I got and it's just under 200 kilometers. Yeah, distance it's gone. So not the field in front of us, but the one in the distance would be the next one that we would have done. And I might do that at some stage, just it won't be as a regularly scheduled episode, it'll be when I get around to it. I'm going to have a break from this map for a while. We've managed to hit all the achievement goals that I wanted. We've got our grape achievement, olive achievement, horse riding achievement, uh, sorghum harvest for the horses, and now we've absolutely crushed the cotton bale either selling or putting it into a production. Next time you see this map, I'm hoping I will have it in a little bit more polished state. Not sure if it'll be the same month or I'll let it tick over a month. We'll have to see how we go. But it has been a lot of fun getting these achievements done. I might even do a big lineup. Actually, I will. I'll do a big lineup of all the equipment that I've used and purchased in getting this map all done as well. So you can see how many tractors and stuff there is. Hope you've enjoyed this. It's only got 11, well, 11 episodes plus a 12th maybe at some stage. Got plenty of other series on the channel to watch though. Corpy's flying along and doing really well. And I've recently started the mission to Mars, or Mars the Mission. And trying to do some farming on that, and meet that map achievements goals as well. Until next time though, I will catch you all later. Welcome back everyone, it looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box.